Hey guys, it's your boy Mark here to continue my Life is Strange playthrough series. I didn't end up uh, like filming a whole bunch of more parts um, yesterday. Like I said, I might do. Uh, so now you know I didn't. So this is on the very same uh, day that this is going to be uploaded, which is March second, twenty nineteen. Um, yeah, Life is Strange. Um, yeah, can't wait to, uh, get back into this, uh, I'm glad I, I'm glad I got back into it, man, cause, uh, cause I was really, like, not in any mood for, like, a whole month, uh, for personal-ish reasons, you know what I mean, um, but yeah, without further ado, let's continue. I almost clicked save game one again. Ha! Save game two is where it's at. That's where it's supposed to be, you know. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything, for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. <laughs> Deja vu. There's dust on the dust now. Oh. Bird, how I about to say about the burp? Did you burp, burp, burp? Burp is the word. Burp, 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 burp is the word. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna do something. Uh, hope this doesn't get copyright or shit. I had to, I had to, I had to, I had to do it to him, boy! This is so creepy. I want everybody to say about the bird, the bird, the bird, bird is the bird. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Good morning, how are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. You don't think it could be like climate change or something? 
I'm a fisherman, no scientist. I know the sea is warming, but this is something new. Maybe worse. What do you mean, worse? You knew what was going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay. Sorry, I'm just too salty to talk about it. See you around, kid. Can't chat now. Gotta focus on the fish. Good morning. Don't ask. I heard that something bad was happening to the fish in Arcadia Bay. Well, since you mentioned it first, there ain't no fish in Arcadia Bay. <laughs> what? Come on. None? None worth catching and eating anymore. I'm not shitting you. Salmon, trout, bass have died and migrated. Even the damn clams are dying. Oh my god. But, but what babe. about... Sorry, just too salty to talk about it. See you around, kid. Sweet, my nigga. Sup, my nigga. That would be cool to be a trucker for a while. Always on the road. Hey, no photo girl. Hey, how's it going? Peachy. Interview over. Having a bad day at the office? Some punks messed with the train tracks, and now oh. I have to wait for three days until I get my cargo. Time is money for a guy like me. Oh. Oh yeah, that sucks. Wish I could drive right out of Arcadia Bay. Whole town is crumbling. Snow, eclipse, and a slut trying to commit suicide. Hey. Maybe you should leave then. What if I could? And even that shifty Rachel What's-Her-Face asked me once if I'd drive her to Los Angeles. You knew Rachel Amber? Can you tell me about her? Nope. Christ, why don't you get a real job instead of homework? I'd love to see you Blackwell turds try to drive my 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. Like I said, interview over. Uh, do they teach English over at that arty farty school? I'm done talking. Over and out. Hey, how's it going? Peachy. Actually, I wanted to ask if that's your bitch in 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. How the hell did you know that? My friend Rachel Amber told me about this cool rig in town because I love taking pictures of truckers. You knew Rachel. She sure didn't give a rat's ass about truckers. Or real work. Oh, so you must have known her too? Only from the I wonder if the sky shows up in, uh, before the storm. Diner. She was just a gold digger. She belonged in California with all those you know who know what. Good riddance. But you can take pictures of my truck anytime. Take care. Ha. Sweet, my boy. I've I've got all the trophies anyway to do these photos, but I still want to do them anyway just for fun, you know. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. Nathan. Can't drop any tunes right now. Keys. Looks tasty, but my need for keys comes first. My need for keys. Hunt Corp. That's part of That doesn't explain the recent extreme weather patterns. No, but we have to start with the hypothesis that climate change is a partial cause for the unseasonal weather. That doesn't explain everything, of course. Frankly, we don't know You should have jumped, asswipe. Ha! Huh. Good job. Shit. 
What are the other signs then? I, I didn't read that. The detail in this game, man, that's incredible. That, that, that's... What, what am I talking about? Um, Kate Marsh, love you long time. That's fuck. That's a crazy fucking coincidence. When I, cause that's a quote from Full Metal Jacket, and I, I just posted a little bit of the song from Full Metal Jacket. Crazy coincidence. Sup, Frank, my nigga. His plate. Frank Bauer stars in a face full of beans. They look so much like a giant cookie, don't you guys think? You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans! I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. You show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. The fuck do you want? How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them, and you look like ass. Aiming a gun doesn't make you any sexier. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. What the fuck now? Could I get you to drop Chloe's debt? Are you supposed to be a smart student? You'll find out if you do me this favor. Thanks, Godmother, but I don't need your favors. And Chloe doesn't get any from me. What the fuck now? What the fuck now? <laughs> there she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky, and right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Black Bull Academy. Um. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. There she is. Thanks, officer. I'm glad. Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? <laughs> I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. 
You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. <laughs> Sup? Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh... Oh look, Max Amber. Is that your punk rock girl outfit? That was classic, watching you turn on your everyday hero, Jefferson, yesterday. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. No worries, because you're the one trying to fake it till you make it. At least you were smart enough to keep your big mouth shut in the principal's office. I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit! My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. Weren't you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? Blood oath? What the fuck? I never told anybody about that freaky shit. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. Yet Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. So? Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Dumbass. <laughs> you eat like a pig. No, not that. <laughs> I'm trying to speak with Frank. You know I saw that photo Rachel gave you. Uh, uh how, how do you know about that? Huh? Chloe, right? She just told me that one of Rachel's favorite pictures was the one she did for you. Really? Yeah, I mean, that's what I thought. She was just a natural beauty, you know. Wait, wait, let me, let me find it. Here, judge for yourself. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now. He brought. Now back to Chloe. I'm curious to know what I can say to him. I about. have the keys. Time to bounce. Ah, uh, shit on my balls. Looks tasty, but my need for keys comes first. That's so cool. He has no idea how I took his keys.
Uh, I thought you might be ready for the Vortex Club, but after that shit you put with Jefferson. What did I- what did Max do with Jefferson? I completely forgot. Oh man. Remember guys, before yesterday's, uh, part 6, I was on like a month break for this. Uh, I completely- what did she- what did she do with Jefferson? Such an emo queen that you didn't want anybody going with him to the the Ah, shut up, you fucking cunt. Oh, Alyssa. I'd love to talk, Max, but I'm drowning in puddle scum. Kidding me? Alyssa, watch out! Quit thinking, Max. Whew. That was close, Alyssa. Okay, Max. This is the third time you've saved me from harm's way. You must be my angel. Don't thank me. I haven't done anything special. You've paid your dues by saving Kate's life on the road. You really are a Blackwell hero, Max. Kate's my friend. I'm just glad she came down. Kate's a good person. My friend. And she was almost bullied to death by a video. It's fucked up. But you're an amazing friend. I want to make sure she knows how many friends she really has from now on. Amen to that. Max, we should get a posse to see her in the hospital when they allow visitors. Let's hang later and talk some more. Thanks again, Max. Talk to you later. Chloe, honey bunny. Sup? Careful, Max. Cujo ahead. Nice Scooby snack, Chloe. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set. Throw! Throw towards the road. Oh man, you guys know what you what you guys wanna know what I did when I first played this? Get the treat, treat boy. The meat is in the street. Oh no! Please, please do not let that poor dog be hit. I bet he's fine. I'm sure he is. Come on, we definitely don't have time to waste now. Should I go back in time? All right, I'll go back in time. Oh please, please don't let that dog be hurt. Or worse. I'm gonna do what I should do now. I'm gonna throw it on the parking lot, which is what I would do. Probably would do in real life. Get the treat, treat boy. I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now I can snoop in peace. <laughs> yeah, I get it. But let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. Damn, I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise in everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. Bro, this poster, you that looks like- You scope the area while I hack his computer for info. Bro, that, com that poster up there looks like Tomasa Frank Champa. Frank is almost a made-for-TV hoarder. This place is nasty. Shut up. 
I was saying that that poster looks so much like Tommaso Ciampa. Oh, sex stuff. Dog food. I think the doggy likes his bone more. Can't quite Crack a picture bottle. Frank and Chloe drinking beer and hanging out. Crack a bottle. That would be so cool to take this baby on the road with Chloe. Hell yeah. Frank must have a reason to keep a police radar nearby. <laughs> yeah, sure does. Sure does, my ninja. Pompadou? <laughs> For reals? That's a poodle's name. I doubt Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. The archetypal filthy guy dishes. Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. No prize here. Crappy wife out here. Must take him days to download porn. Yuck. Hehehe. <laughs> Chloe isn't scared. She's loving this. Of course Frank gets the munchies. Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. <laughs> Recycle, dude. Nice rig. Glad Frank treats something here with respect. Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or both? Hey, that uh, poster, that, that poster looks like Tommy Wiseau. <laughs> You're tearing me apart, Lisa. That's a pretty extreme lighter. Is Frank going to deal online now? Vent. I could pry this vent open with the right tool. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. Ooh, Frank's stash. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. No more secrets. Oh. How can somebody live like this? Oh. No. This is almost as good as a set of keys. Whoa, what the hell is he doing with that dog? <sighs> Stop it. Oh, that freaked me out. Fucking God. Curses. Nothing here. Fucking cock in my dick. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. Wait, didn't I have a knife? Oh shit, the knife is broken. I, I, you can still use it. My blade will open any portal. Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. Bumpadoo. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. I hope you read this first. I was being a month. Thank science for you. I didn't read the whole thing really. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. Frank, that was not cool what you did, and I, bl I don't blame the drug dealer. You scared me. I thought you'd never chill out, never seen. I'm a Leo, and we don't look back. I care about you. 
I saw her birthday. It said July 22, right? That's Cancer. That's not Leo. Um, but cool. Oh man, oh man, I remember when Chloe got pissed when I showed her this, but she has to know. It makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years, my mother gloms on a stepfucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Chloe! Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. Grow up, should I tell her to grow up? Um, Rachel and Frank. So now it's Rachel's fault too? Jesus, she was banging that pig, Frank! Bitch lied to my face, Max! I can't trust anybody again. Everybody pretends to care until they don't. Even you. Chloe Price. You better take that back. Right now. Okay. Fine. But you just don't understand. It's like I'm being punished by the universe. So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? You blame David? I said my dad. My real father, who got himself killed for nothing. Not the human placeholder for Joyce. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. Rachel needs you. Oh my god, what is happening now?
How the fuck do I do this? Someday dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Well, I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I Who that far that back in cakes? time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them crepes. I'm 18 years and old inside my 13-year-old self. If you want to eat How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? Chloe is just Mom's so damn happy and carefree. So how many and this is the last time, unless I change it. Right. Like I love William here. like he was in my own family. I, I won't let him die today. Alright, one won't. thing I hate is that you have literally no choice but to I've do this. I know I've seen those pictures before. Because I wouldn't do this. Changing the future too much. Um... <sighs> oh yeah, I miss movie nights here. Cookies and popcorn. Hello? Hey honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. I know you gotta take his keys and what? throw them out the window. Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Those keys. I have to stop William from taking his car today. Ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you are upon. You're ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for where that the someday. Where the keys? Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. I don't think I did that before. The fuck are those keys? Aha! You can't hide from me for- You are ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where am I keep- Score! Alright, now hurry up. Throw them out the window. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys! Of course. Last time I ordered from <laughs> Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes and there'll be plenty of room for you and joys and groceries and, and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, no. I am awesome. We are awesome. Oh, these parts of this game are kind of creepy. David is a good guy, though. Dude, this 
Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. Really wet and cold every day. But Never, like Maxine. So I know, sorry, Mad Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? Right? Do you want to go hit the girl's potty and smoke them peace pipe? I think Max is hot. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like whatever, bitch. Warren, he hooked up with Stella? Oh no, this is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe. David. Now this is the end of episode three, guys. Um, it's a very emotional ending, just to warn you guys if you haven't played the game. And I think we can do the first parts of uh, episode four before I end this part right here. I really hope I don't get like copyrighted for playing a little bit of Seth and Bird early in this playthrough. The beach is free. Max Caulfield, taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No, I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. I'm not even looking at the screen right now, guys. Okay, I did just now for a, a nanosecond. Wow. Episode 3. He stole the money. I didn't even know I could do that. Answer from mission. Oh, well, 
I did get the trophy anyway for the for the Oh, episode four is really fucked up guys, just to warn you guys. Episode four, Dark Room. Continue. Play a little bit of episode four. This is a really long um Previously on Life is part, Strange. By the way, guys. Whoa. Episode four. I mean You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now! It won't work! I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Coffee, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen. I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome! <laughs> Hello? Are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe! You have a visitor! We're gonna go back in time. Dun, 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 dun. Actually, now that I think about it, you reckon I should just, like, end this part now? Okay, maybe I'll, I'll play for a little teeny insy bit, then I'll end this part, okay? Like, after this beach part, me and Chloe, that we're gonna do. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. That's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. 
You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Oh, fuck, what were they talking about? I was on Facebook just now, guys. I'm so sorry. Um... Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. Oh, you mean what missing girl? What, what missing girl? I don't know her name. I just read about it in the news. I feel bad for her family. This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Don't say that. I'm not trying to bum you out. It just seems like Arcadia Bay is having a meltdown. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe. I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. Once the thingamajig loads up, it's going to be the end of this part, ladies and gentlemen. Reload. See if that works. Now <clears throat> what everybody say about the bird, ch -ch -ch bird, bird, bird. yep thank you guys so much for watching part seven of my life is strange playthrough series guys hope you enjoyed um i might very well do that um you know um filming a whole bunch of parts at once i could finish this game today 
but of course you guys won't see the whole rest of the playthrough until the next few days or so you know what I mean but yeah I think I will do that actually oh there's so much work I gotta get done for so many things man I still haven't released legacy I'm so sorry about that still by the way guys it's because of BS stuff with the computer that I hope gets fixed you're all right right it's all good see you guys and uh see I hope you guys enjoyed um we definitely did not have enough time to go back in time and stuff right now but yeah so that's my playthrough series guys part eight tomorrow for you guys and hope you guys enjoyed uh peace out guys